Hey, what's up? It's Noah, and I am six weeks post-op right now. I have peri or donor procedure with Dr. Van Lunen here in the Netherlands. Yesterday I was six weeks post-op, and that means that I'm officially able and allowed to go to sports again. I haven't done anything <laughs> apart from like riding my bicycle and yeah. Just moving back to Amsterdam really because I was with my parents in a small town and now I'm back in Amsterdam in my own room and I'm living on my own again, which is really nice. Uh, but I also miss my family because it's always fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you my chest, what it looks like. Cause that's what you all wanna know, right? Um, yeah, this is my chest right now. It looks really nice, really good. All the scabs are are gone. I'm gonna stand on a chair so you can see my chest better. So as you can see, this one is much better healed than this side. This one is still like a deflated balloon, which sucks, but I hope it will go down. Otherwise, I need a revision. Uh, I'm just gonna show my nips up close. You see, they're all... All the scabs are gone. You can see little dots around my nipples, and that's from the stitches. Yeah, so that's my chest right now. I don't know if you can tell, but on this side I also have a little dent. It used to be swollen, but now it's small, like it's smaller, or it, there's just a little dent in there. So I hope that will happen with every everything around it. Um, and this side, yeah, it's just doing really well, and I love it. <laughs> I also got this stuff. Dermatix silicone gel and it's for scarring so I'm gonna start that today Oh wow This is funny stuff All right, so that's on my scar right now Let's do the other side now. I have to let that dry for a little bit. So I'm just gonna stay shirtless Um, and I want to talk a little bit about feeling like shit after surgery Because <laughs> that definitely happened to me because you know um, surgery is, was like, I think, com like, together with my voice drop and my body changing on testosterone, I think, top surgery was like, I was restricted doing things for so long, and top surgery was like, I'm gonna finally be able just to go out and not have to think about that shit anymore. So it was a huge relief when it happened, but I was also thinking like, okay, how's my chest gonna look? And to be honest, in the beginning, I was a bit scared that my chest looked, that my nipples were too low. Now, I don't think that anymore, because I've seen other chests and I think they look actually quite perfect. <laughs> um, but in the beginning, when I first took off the binder, I was really excited for it to be flat, but I also thought like, oh shit, aren't they too low? Um, but I don't think that anymore. And maybe they're like a little bit on the lower side, but you know, a lot of cis guys have that too, so. But I was definitely a little bit scared about that. Um, another thing was that this side is, looks kind of like it used to before, which makes me really like, <sighs> you know, and <laughs> that's not great. Like it looks like it's still as it was before, but then kind of like a deflated balloon and that's just not great. And that's just the thing with, with surgery in general, I guess, like in the beginning, it's gonna look gross. And maybe for some people it's like perfect, but for me it was definitely like, okay, this looks kinda gross and this is still like, I don't know, weird looking. Um, so yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. And I don't know, I just have to wait and be patient, you know? And at the same time I was thinking like, shit, I should be so happy. I should be so grateful that I had surgery and I was like, but like, you never feel one thing at a time. I mean. I don't at least like there was this huge relief that it actually happened and and gratitude but there was also like this concern like oh okay this looks a little weird and i can only focus on that which is stupid but that's how i don't know my brain works and because this part is like perfect you know so yeah that's been going through my mind in the healing process um another thing that happened was just i had a breakdown <laughs> I was just talking to my dad about um, how sometimes some family members still call me she and they do it, you know, by accident. They don't do it uh, to hurt me or anything, but I never really said anything about it because I just didn't even want to acknowledge it that it was happening, you know, because it's just 
painful and I don't want to, you know, end up in a conversation about like, oh, but we didn't mean it like that and blah, blah, blah. And then I just know like it's going to happen again. So it's just like, I'm just going to ignore it because that works. <laughs> I had a conversation with my dad about it and I don't know. I just had a breakdown about being trans and how shitty it is. And there was, you know, post-op almost one and a half years on testosterone, you know, with a little beard, like, I'm so happy where I'm right now, but I also realize that this is my life, and it's just, sometimes it just really sucks. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I cried. <laughs> yeah, and I felt like shit. Yeah, and that's post op, you know, and like call it what you want, post op depression or whatever. I just felt like shit, and that was just strange because, you know. I was like, well, I should be happy right now, and I'm not, so that's great. <laughs> but, you know, like, the day after I felt much better because I had that talk with my dad about, you know, people misgendering me, and um, that was that was nice, and he, you know, he understood, and he saw um, how much it meant to me if people, you know, really made an effort and tried to help each other to not misgender me, because that'd be nice, um, also with the holiday season coming up, because that's a huge thing for a lot of trans people I suppose you know because family members and uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah I saw this video from Jamie Dodger the other day about his stop surgery and how you know it looked kind of gross and swollen in the beginning and I was looking at those videos and I was like oh shit you know like this is actually something I've never seen before because normally you see videos about like perfect chest and like super thin scarring and that kind of shit uh, but you know, it's not for everyone like that. So I thought it was very important to also show you that it's not going to look, you know, there is a possibility that's not going to look great the first few months. And for me, that like, this side is just, I don't know what's going on. And I'm not confident enough, for example, because of that, to just take out my shirt in public and just, you know, run around, whatever. <laughs> um, no, I'm not ready to do that. And um, also because there's, you know, still scarring and... Yeah, I don't know. That's just not something I want to do straight away. <laughs> but that's, I don't know, what I wanted to say. But in general, like, overall, I'm feeling really well. Um, it's so nice to just put on a shirt, a white shirt, and to not have to think about binding and, you know, that kind of crap or, you know, going for a run or just like running in public for catching a train or something. I'm like, I'm, this time I will not have this chest pain because of my binder. That's just amazing. Like life without a binder is just fucking perfect. <laughs> and my chest is flat, you know, so I can just wear whatever the fuck I want. Um, and yeah, that's just great. So look on the bright side, right? But yeah, I also just want to say that not everything is great, even after top surgery or, you know, being one and a half years, almost one and a half years on T. But I am so much happier than I was two years ago. Like, hell do I, fuck no. I do not want to go back to that time. That was just, nah. <laughs> no, things are way easier right now, but being trans is not something that I can just, you know, forget. Um, it's still a part of me and it's gonna bother me. Um, but yeah, that's just how it's uh, gonna be. And I just have to accept the fact that this is my life. So yeah, that's it for this week. I hope you have a great week. And I, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.